The question now is what comes next? Vice President Harris took to social media today to thank President Biden for his endorsement and state her intentions to win the nomination. But will Kamala Harris automatically become the Democratic nominee? Arianda Till with our National Verify team answers the question. Biden has been the presumptive nominee for months, having easily won nearly every primary in a mostly uncontested race. But he was never actually officially nominated. That process happens in August. So what happens now? Who becomes the nominee? In his announcement, Biden said his current vice president, Kamala Harris, should be the new nominee. But will it automatically be her? Let's verify. Our sources include Democratic Party rules, various state laws, the U.S. Supreme Court, and Elaine Kamark, a senior fellow at Brookings. Even though voters make their preference known in primaries and caucuses, the nominee is actually decided by delegates at the Democratic National Convention. Delegates are assigned to vote for a candidate based on the results of their state's primary. Party rules say, quote, delegates elected to the National Convention pledged to a presidential candidate shall in good conscience reflect the sentiments of those who elected them. But that phrase, in all good conscience, provides some wiggle room. Experts say it means delegates could be released from their obligations if the candidate they're assigned to drops out. And at that point, they become free agents. There's no rule that says delegates would automatically be bound to some other candidate. That means, no, Kamala Harris will not automatically become the nominee. So what actually happens instead? All of the nearly 4,000 Biden delegates are allowed to cast their vote for anyone they want. This is called a brokered convention, and it's how nominees used to be decided until primaries became the norm. Anyone can throw their hat in the ring and jockey for those delegates' votes. Delegates are mostly local party operatives, or sometimes just hardcore voters chosen by their party at the statewide conventions. If, after the first vote, no candidate has a majority, a few hundred party elders, called superdelegates, are also allowed to participate in the next round. The delegates vote over and over again until someone wins a majority. So, this process historically involves a lot of chaos and backroom deals. With your Verify, I'm Ariane Till. Now, according to a CBS report, there are 11 other people that could land the Democratic nomination. Nine of them are also anticipated to be in the running for Kamala Harris's vice presidential pick. A Georgia senator is among those names. Senator Raphael Warnock is a contender for both presidential nominee and the vice presidency. The list also includes California Governor Gavin Newsom, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Maryland Governor Wes Moore, and Pre Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. The Democratic Convention begins Monday, August 19th, but a lot of these decisions could be made before delegates meet in Chicago. Now, in a hypothetical head-to-head -head between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump, Trump has a three-point advantage if Harris is running on the same platform of achievements as Biden. Harris has a hypothetical 48 percent and Trump has a hypothetical 51. This polling was released this morning before the president made his announcement.